Who do you know right now that's dangerous? Ah! Remember my agent, she was saying, well, we all kill each other at the end, and you know, there's no money, and uh, nobody's ever heard of this Quentin guy. Eight movies, all of them, very successful. The resonance of his cinema is to push you. Our 90s auteur indie cinema, the equivalent of the French New Wave. Everyone is standing in the Quentin Tarantino line to work. I don't care who they are. And we had this meeting, and he seemed like kind of an overzealous geek. But guess what? He had the talent to back it up. The greatest fight any two women ever had in a movie. And yet their femininity never went away for a second. He didn't want to do the dancing. And he wrote the part that John Travolta played for Michael. Michael didn't do it. Those are brilliant screenplays. Imagine having to sell those to pay your rent. This is how he views the world. Quentin comes in and he goes, well, I don't really trust Kristoff to kill you, so I'm going to do it myself. And I was just like, well, at least if I die, it's Quentin Tarantino who killed me today. He didn't change history. He's doing exactly the quintessential task of what storytelling is all about. What if? There's no dishonesty in anything that he writes or how people talk, feel, or speak. Diego! You open it, son of a... How's Quentin different from other directors? I never fear that my joy is going to be cut off. That was fun! <laughs> He's 10. He'll do other stuff. He's not going to fade out. I think he needs to live to 150 just so he can accomplish whatever he wants to accomplish.